Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and the subject of today's video newsletter, well, we are going to take a look at Minitab. We are going to do a Minitab tutorial and the Minitab tutorial we're going to do today, so it's Minitab. We're going to do my three favourite diagrams. So the Minitab tutorial today my three favorite diagrams, especially when you are a quality professional, when you are trying to fix really difficult technical problems, my three favorite di diagrams are the run chart the histogram and the CPK diagram. We're going to take a look at these three and in particular what are we trying to do? Well, when we've got the run chart, we've got the histogram and of course the CPK predicts the defect rate for us. They will do something different for us. What are we trying to do? We are trying to see whether our process is in chaos or control, chaotic, chaotic. In other words, what we're trying to do is we're trying to squeeze that thing in, that would be chaos, as opposed to move the average backwards and forwards. So if I've got a chaotic process, constantly swinging around dramatically, can't predict what's going to happen next. That's a very different problem solving technique to when you've got control, which of course would look like this. You have control, and then it blips out. Have I got this or have I got this? This is chaos. How long will it take? Three months. How long will it take? three minutes. These three diagrams using Minitab are the most important diagrams you're going to do. Let's go to Minitab and let's take a look how it's done. Okay, here we go. I've got a file open, just a very simple data set. Um, this could be the, the simple data set that you've got when you are starting a Six Sigma project or a quality improvement project or an AD analysis or something like that. I have two data sets from two different models, model one, model two, uh, both models are causing me some concern and I want to see whether the problem is signal or noise, so I'm going to use my three favourite diagrams, run chart, histogram, CPK. I'm going to do this with model two specifically, but also when we do the histogram We'll do the two together at the same time as well. I'll show you how the, the software will do both of these diagrams at the same time. But we'll start with model two, just to show you. It's a smaller data set and it's, a, it's an easier data set to draw the diagrams for. So here we go. So there's a few ways to do this. I'm gonna go uh, here on the, uh, the graph menu. And of course, I'm gonna go down here, look to the time series. That's the run chart, time series, and it just says what type of time series, simple, is what I'm dealing with. I click OK, and then I've got to tell it the time series that I'm going to analyze, model two. And to be honest, once I've done that, I don't need to do any more. I can just click go. And now, I get a time series graph. And of course, this would be telling me now whether I have a chaotic process or whether I have a predictable process. The one thing to say about the process, it's kind of nicely stable. It's sitting around about uh, 51. This, this, by the way, is performance criteria from a product, and it's decibels. So we have decibels coming out of model two, and nicely, this particular model is sitting at 51 decibels, and it's not kind of swinging around too much. So in that sense, there's a certain amount of stability, and I can see that from the run chart. 
Now what I'm going to do is go to the histogram. So back to the graph, there's the histogram now. What sort of histogram do I want? Simple. Again, model two. Don't really need to do anything else other than pointed at the uh, other than pointed at the data. Um, of course, I could go to the labels and give it a title and things like that. But in this case, let's keep it simple. Pointed at the model two data set and then click go. Okay, there's my there's my histogram. Um, I'm trying to see if normality is present because that's a sign of uh, a process that's at least predictable to a certain level. Uh, and there's the there's the histogram for that data set. And finally, of course, I want to know how that that histogram relates to the defect rate. So now I have to go a slightly different way. I've got to go into the quality tools. And I've got to go for capability analysis, normal. And I'm going to put model one in there. I need to put a subgroup size of one in there. You can see my tolerances are actually already present. But this would normally have to be typed in. 46 decibels and 52 decibels are my, uh, are my tolerances in this case. Keeping this simple, look at the data, subgroup size of one, put the tolerances in. And now look, and this is a nice feature actually, because really I get the histogram and I get the capability statistic actually at the same time, which is a nice, which is a nice thing. Um, let me just pop that out, that's better. We can see it a little bit better if we do that. Um, and there's the, there's the histogram and the capability analysis. And you can see, if you look at my capability analysis, this particular model is off center. So this is a problem with signal. It's not a problem with noise. So that's what I want, and want to know. I need to center this particular process. I need to get it sitting on 49. It's currently sitting at 51. This is a relatively easy thing to fix. Moving the signal in most situations is relatively easy to do. Controlling the noise is much more difficult. So there is the capability statistic there. Run chart, histogram, CPK. Now that's doing them all individually. But of course Minitab sets these things up sometimes much more helpfully. So if I go back to the stat for a second, go back into quality tools, go back down here to capability analysis. If I drop one lower, it says the capability six pack. So I'm gonna select that this time, rather than just the, the capability analysis. So if I go to that, same request, I have to point it to the data. I have to give it a subgroup size and I have to put my specifications in, 46 and 52, and then I'm gonna click, okay. Now, let's pop that out. The capability six pack, this is a nice, this is a nice feature, because the capability six pack, so I'll make it a little bit bigger. Um, what you've now got is you've got the run chart at the top. It's actually a, an individual's chart, a, CP, a, a SPC chart. You've got the individual's chart at the top. You've got the histogram and the CPK on the right-hand side. So I've got everything I want here, my, my perfect diagrams. These are my favorite diagrams. Run chart, histogram, CPK. Why do I want the histogram as well as the CPK diagram? The CPK is an estimate of the defect rate. It only works if there's a sense of normality in the data. There is certainly a sense of normality in this data and therefore when it predicts the defect rate, you can see down here, look, it's predicting a parts per million defect rate of 10.1% in that right hand tail. When it makes that prediction, that prediction is going to be a very good estimate of what's going on. 
if the normal distribution is present and it is now I'm not really looking at the other charts even though it's called a capability six-pack it's the run chart the histogram and the CPK analysis that I'm really interested in there they are my favorite three diagrams when I'm problem solving because it answers a very important question for me am I in chaos or am I in control because chaos takes a long time to answer control is much easier to fix all right so there's the capability six pack now I'm just going to show you one other feature before we finish up and that's the ability to put both models on the same histogram so if I just if I just close that diagram down you just pull up the data set so I've got the two data sets for model one and model two there I want to compare the two models I haven't done the analysis for model one in the way that I did for model two but what I'd like to do look I'd like to go histogram but it says with groups so if I click on that now I'm gonna go here now tell it model one tell it model two and click OK now what does it do well it puts both data sets on the same histogram now model one has got much more data there were 445 data points in model one I think there was only 95 data points in model two model two was off center so I was just trying to shift the signal the average of the result model one however is actually sitting smack bang on target it is actually sitting at 49 decibels the problem I have is I have too much noise I have rejects out on the left hand side I have rejects out on the right hand side so my problem with model one is noise my problem with model two is signal one is going to take much longer to fix than the other but that's why I use these diagrams they are there to tell you something about your your process and in this case I want to know have I got a problem with my signal do I need to move the average have I got a problem with the noise do I need to transform the standard deviation they are very difficult dif different problems to fix and that's why I use these three diagrams well I hope you enjoyed that tutorial there are other videos on my youtube channel also mini tab tutorials please go and please go and look some of those up and i'll be adding more and more of the tutorials as time goes up as time goes on if you'd like to know more about world-class technical problem solving or indeed six sigma it's all covered in my book drink tea and read the paper you can get it from lulu.com both as a hard copy like this a simple paperback or indeed as a much cheaper electronic download please get a copy of my book please leave comments and subscribe to the channel because it helps with the success of the channel and helps you to make more videos for you uh, but Minitab really powerful software when you use the diagrams they are telling you something about your process do you have chaos or do you have control the most important question you can ask when you are trying to problem solve use Minitab and find out and you will make more money